Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the layer brush in the Blender software. Blend, uh, layer brush has got a very unique uh, place in the brushes. Uh, before getting into the layer brush, I would like to start with the draw brush and then explain you something about it. But before going into that, I'm going to subdivide this uh, model with subdivision levels of 3 by pressing Ctrl 3 on the keyboard. That will add a 3 level subdivision. So I'm going to select the draw brush and then I'm going to use the draw brush on this. So if you just click and drag, you get that strokes. Okay. Now the problem with this stroke is you have added a stroke. Okay. Uh, they have inflated uh, to a value of one. And when I click and drag, wherever the stroke is running over the previously sculpted layer, you get the inflation of two. I would like to show you it in a very clear way. For that, I'm going to choose the stroke type to drag dot. And I'm going to use this hardness to almost 0 0.92. And then I'm going to increase the brush size. And also I'll be choosing the scene uh, radius unit. And then just click and drag a stroke there and you should be able to see that I've got this stroke. Now when I click and drag it here, uh, you got a addition of this, uh, I mean wherever the stroke is like, let's say if I'm just clicking and dragging it here, it's inflating a value of 1. But when I click here, it's adding a value of 2 with the previous inflation what I've got here. So if I add one more stroke, I get third time the, the polygons are pulled into a uh, their normal direction now this is uh, going to be a problem in some cases and that is where you can use the layer brush so let's understand the layer brush in that matter so by default when i click and drag the layer brush the stroke looks like a flat layer of clay adding on uh, top of the surface but if i just click and drag it or let's say if i just do this you get that second uh, layer of inflation that is wherever the stroke is there you got that uh, two levels of uh, sculpt now this is going to be a problem again we can try that in that method so go to the stroke and then choose the stroke type to the drag dot and then the brush hardness is 0 0.92 and then just click and drag click and drag and you get the same result but in fact this model has got a very weird uh, displacement and i'm not happy about that but what i'm going to do now is go to the brush option and then enable the persistence and uh, when you enable the persistent and then click and drag, you may not see any difference happening here because you need to tell that this layer, whatever this, the deformations are there in this layer is considered as the layer on which this new set of sculpting is going to happen. So I need to click this button, set persistent base. And now when I click and drag, you got a stroke. I click and drag. The second stroke is now added, uh, you know, uh, with the same value. I'm not getting that... Uh, one becoming two two becoming three but it's actually the maximum value of one now we have a unique option here called height yeah the, the value of the height is 0 0.05 let me put it to 0 0.1 and then click and drag it and you get a stroke with that value there now let me choose this with a value of 0 0.02 which is less than 0 0.5 and you should be able to see that stroke is uh, maintaining that value over that previously sculpted value so whatever the value was 0 0.05 became 0 0.02 because the layer persistent is working now when you are sculpting this way and uh, let's say if i click this set persistent base once again now that effect will go away now when i start sculpting this overall information becomes a new set of layer now when i click this i'm going to scale the brush size a smaller I'm not touching the brush height, which is 0 0.02, which is this stroke. And when I click there, it's adding additional 0 0.02 of the stroke to all the layers which we have. Okay, whatever strokes we have earlier, like 0 0.2 becomes 0 0.4, 0 0.5 becomes 0 0.7, and 0 0.1 becomes 0 0.12. Okay, so the previous uh, layer of information is now becoming the layer on which I'm going to sculpt. Now, unless until I hit this button, this will not change. But if I click it now, now this will add a new set of information on top of the previous sculpt. So when you're sculpting uh, scales and increases all that information on your model, you can actually rely on this layered brush. Let me take the layer brush here and then I've got the strength which is one and then you have the height to 0 0.05 which is everything is default but I'm just taking the stroke type to the line and then uh, I'll take the negative sculpting and I'm going to click and drag uh, this line here and then here and you should be able to see there is a problem here that you got the double times of uh, push in the vertex points let me just uh, first fix this height 
to 0 0.01 and then try it and then you get the stroke and you should be able to see there's a problem here so instead i'm going to choose the persistent and enable set persistent base and then just click and drag there and you should be able to see the the stroke is very neat here you can use this for paneling uh, of uh, the sci-fi models take a thin stroke and then just click and drag the panels and then you can get uh, a decent looking sci-fi panels on your model